Hello everyone and welcome back. Now I want to speak about uh, one more very important thing uh, if you have a 3D printer with the Bowden tube and Bowden extruder that are out of the print head. So in this tube basically the uh, uh, plastic is going to the printing head to the to warm it and to print. Uh, and uh, as short this tube are as better result will be. And uh, I got the problem after um, start using clipper and uh, tuning it, uh, that I need to set up uh, quite a big value of uh, pressure advance and uh, also retraction settings. And uh, um, all of these problems is basically qu quite known. And uh, the major issue is exactly this uh, uh, tube and uh, how exactly this extruder works on my printer. The extruder itself is uh, not the best one um, that possibly to have, uh, but I'm still think that uh, probably I could do it a little bit better. Uh, first of all, I will replace the tube with another one. I will explain you why um, and what's exactly wrong with this one original that was with the Anycubic. And also I want to do one more improval. I want to change a position of the extruder. I was thinking a lot about um, to do the direct extrusion, to place the extruder directly on the print head. But there is uh, pros and cons. And uh, if you will take a look on the faster printers, you will see that in most of the cases, uh, they use in uh, Bowden tube. And uh, especially with this construction of this printer, if I will place more weight on the print head, um, there will be even more vibrations than they are at the moment. So um, these rails, they are not uh, extremely strong if we are speaking about the um, high weight on the print head. So I decided to go still with the more or less the same um, construction of the printer, but just improve it a little bit. So the extruder. I saw the solutions when people uh, moved this extruder somewhere over here to the frame and uh, it was not movable anymore and uh, pipe was uh, like going from over here to the print head. And these are pretty nice solution. Um, and I was thinking exactly about this one, just to move it over here, rotate to 90 degrees and that's it. But on the newer models of the uh, um, Anycubics, um, like wiper, the extruder was just 90 degree angled and moved a little bit to the uh, uh, middle of the printer. And they like this solution. So on one hand, we will still have more or less the same weight on the both motors of the, uh, um, of the rail. And at the same moment, we will have a much shorter pipe for the plastic bottom tube and uh, it should work. So what I will do, I will uh, prepare the uh, angled um, connection thingy, I will print it. So printer need to print itself and prepare some kind of the kit with instructions um, how to do exactly this change and uh, as I was mentioned, this uh, tube is um, there's one major issue. So this one is exactly the original one uh, tube from this printer. I had two of them, and the inner diameter inside this tube is 2.4 millimeters, and we know that the plastic is uh, 1.75 millimeters. Uh, so I bought this one from Creality that has inner diameter of uh, 1.9 millimeters. This should be already the huge improvals of uh, this print head and the printer itself. But I want to make it even better. So just take a look on the camera on the differences in the uh, uh, tube diameters. It's pretty big. 
Uh, first of all, I will remove the extruder from its position. This one screw is in a very nice position. It's not very easy accessible. And we'll try to mock what I want to do. With all these things. So basically, this will be pretty easy thing. So the extruder will be moved like this and will place like this and that's it so probably even somewhere over here on one hand as you can see the uh, uh, pipe will still freely move so there shouldn't be any kind of the major issue and on the other hand I could easily cut it almost twice as I was measured. After this uh, moving, the problem could be with the plastic feeding, so I do not really want to move this switch, even I'm not using it, to be honest. So this switch is switched off on my printer, but probably I will at some point start using it again. Um, so the plastic that goes from the switch to the extruder. Um, I will check initially just with the angled extruder like this and then we'll see is it uh, really okay or not okay and that's all i bet that this one will be much better than original positioning of this extruder and these are extremely easy to do After just a few minutes, I already have this uh, designed, so now I need to print it. As I already mentioned, the printer should be able to print itself, so let's print the parts of the printer. It looks okay, so I'm just slicing it. And now I could upload it directly to the clipper from Cura. It will print near one half hour and the print is already starting. Now it will start. Founding of the endpoints for each of the axle and it will start. The print is done, so this is the piece that I will need and I will now mount it to the printer. First of all, I'm warm up the printer and uh, will remove the plastic with the bottom tube now. Now I will mount the holder and the extruder to the holder. Also, I could remove the plastic itself. Let me just push it a little bit and uh, cut it from over here. This one is just on leftovers and now I need to remove plastic as we not need it at the moment. Oh, will it fit? Looks like. Also, I should be able to use the same screws over here. So I'm not planning to replace them. I'm planning to use the same. And looks like it should work.
Now the wire mount. So the best position I see at the moment is just to mount it over here to the motor directly. So like this. I will just use the zip tie. Uh, it's probably temporary. We'll see how it goes. And then if it will be necessary, I will change the mountain, but sometimes there is nothing more stable than temporary. So then this one is more or less done. The wiring is free and uh, not touching the bowden pipe. Okay. So the wire I'm like, and now the tubing. So it should use much shorter tube, like even this one, to be able to touch to any of the points, to find any point. So I will try to cut at the moment my old one. So these are wrong way of cutting the bowden pipe, but I will cut it this way just to measure it. And then I will cut it more properly. So let's see. I cut like, I don't know, almost 10 millimeters, uh, 10 centimeters. And it still looks like I could shorten it even more. So I will cut from this side, like here. Yeah, this one should be good, like this. So I shortened to good 15 centimeters and it still looks like everything in place. At least on the newer models of Anycubic, exactly this positioning of uh, um, extruder used. Now I will try to replace uh, the original pipe with this one, with better one. Also I will cut it properly. And then let's see on the quality of extrusion and quality of uh, retractions. And do I need to do any kind of the changes with the retractions? Now the printer is warmed up again and I could install the new tubing. That's basically all what I was want to do today with uh, my printer. I will leave the feedback in one of my next videos. Um, was it worse or was it not? Also, you will found in the description section this holder. The benefit that I see for myself, for example, this uh, tube is uh, possible to buy one or two meters. And if you are buying one meter, as I did, it will be not enough for two pieces of tube for this printer because the extruder is quite far from the printer itself, from the printing. So, and if I make less than 65 uh, centimeters of the tube for this particular printer, then it will not really work. So the pipe will move not as good as it could be or should be, and um, this solution I like much more. So for me, at least at the moment, it looks like much better. Uh, positioning of the extruder and uh, positioning of the uh, tubing. So I, 
I'm pretty sure that it will work with uh, less extraction, uh, with less retraction than I used before. So with the original pipe, it was necessary at least to have four millimeters of uh, retraction. Now I will try to set it up with the last one. Uh, also the retraction speed and so on, all should be much better with this one. That will be it for this video. See you next time in my future projects. Just two millimeters of retraction and looks very nice.